In person, absentee voting begins today if you live in Kansas City and inside the Jackson County part of Kansas City, Missouri. That's right. With six weeks until Election Day, it is part of a busy process for local election officials trying to make sure all ballots are safely and securely counted. Let's bring back 41 Action News reporter Dan Cohen joining us live to explain what lies ahead for voters who want to get a head start on the voting process during the pandemic. Dan, good morning. Lindsay and Taylor, good morning. Union Station will be open starting today for in-person absentee voting six weeks until the general election on November 3rd. Again, as you said, part of a busy schedule for voters coming up. Those voters have until 5 o'clock p.m. on Monday, November 2nd, the day before the general, to cast their ballots in person. As for those who have successfully applied for absentee or mail-in ballots, those start going out today and are due to the election board by 7 o'clock p.m. on election. Election Day. With the pandemic's effects still being felt in our community, the election board is bracing for a surge in that final six week push. Last time we had 9,000 people vote absentee, uh, which was up about uh, probably about 500% from what had voted in June. So it already picked up tremendously from that. Now we expect to have about 40,000 people come in and vote absentee. Uh, one thing I've not uh, told you yet, but starting three weeks out from Election Day, we'll open up some absentee satellites throughout the city where people can do the same thing they do here. If they do qualify to vote absentee, they could go to one of those satellites and actually cast their ballot there. Now here up on the screen, we have those requirements for those eligible to vote absentee, and that includes those who will be absent from your voting jurisdiction on Election Day, as well as other various instances, including those affected by COVID-19. Again, all of that information up on your screen right now, and we have even more information on our website, KSHB.com, a full slate of election information for those who want to, again, get a head start on the voting process. Taylor and Lindsay, back to you. Dan, it's wild to think about that timeline that here we go. We, we haven't necessarily yeah. even had a presidential debate yet. That's coming up at the end of this month, but we're six weeks out, and yet people can start voting in some cases today. You've got a sample ballot right now that kind of walks you through here. Uh, tell me more about the sample ballot you've got for voters this morning. Yeah, it's 10 pages long, Taylor. Wow. It won't necessarily be 10 pages when you go inside the ballot box, but every race is on here. The presidential race is the very first one on the page. The Missouri governor's race immediately after that, and then all of the state senators, state representative races. There's also a judicial ballot component to this and state constitutional amendments as well. Every single item on the ballot here, if you want to get a jump on that, we got this copy on the election board website. So if you want to see what you'll be voting for, and what you'll be voting for specifically when it comes to those amendments. That's on the website too, but we already have it in our hands. And again, Taylor, as you said, hard to believe we're going to be filling these ballots out in six weeks. Six right. weeks. And it can be good to look at the amendment language before you get Absolutely. in the moment, right? Yes. Great idea. Dan, thank you very much.